SEO blunders number three. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to the Brian J. Pombo live podcast and video cast going all across the internet, social media, podcasting, wherever you wherever you decide to watch or listen to us, we're out there. So welcome for, uh, I'm happy to have you back. Uh, for the last two episodes, we were talking about SEO blunders. And this is number three. I think we're going to stop it on this one because it really is the fundamental point about SEO that a lot of people end up missing. They end up hanging a whole lot on SEO as an organic search, uh, not just paid search. Paid search, you start going into a different realm, but if you're really focused on getting free traffic via, you may have a bit of an issue. <laughs> and I'm going to show you why. And it comes down to real basic concepts of sales and understanding what you're, who you're going after and really understanding the crowd that you're playing with. Now, if you understand them well enough, maybe it'll work really well for you, organic search will. But even at its very best, it's not good enough. And this comes from a concept from the ultimate sales machine. This is Chet Holmes. Chet Holmes uh, passed away a few years back, but this book is still one of those, one of those classics. It uh, in here, I'm I and I'm drew this out for you. This is this is this old sales pyramid that he talks about, and uh, I want to show you. I drew it out for you to just kind of give you a concept on the on the dollar store uh, whiteboard here. <laughs> Here's here's the different concepts. If you took a pyramid and and this and this represented your entire possible um, clientele customer base. This is everybody that could possibly be a customer of yours. They're gonna sit somewhere in these percentages. So the very three percent are the people that are ready to buy right now. As soon as you get in touch with them and tell them what you have, and as long as they know what you what you're selling. They're ready to go. That's 3%, only 3% of the market. Six to 7% are open. They're open to the concept of purchasing from you. They're not ready yet, but they're they're very open to it, okay? From here on down, and I did not write in the numbers, but it's 30%, 30%, 30%. I was gonna write it as we were going along, but uh, this is 30%. They, they, they have not thought of your solution yet they 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 don't think they're ready yet they're they're not sure if they're ready they're just not in the looking zone quite yet another 30 percent really don't think that they're that they don't think that that they're interested in what you're working on and in what you're offering and another 30 percent they know they're not interested in what you're looking at now why am i showing this as far as seo SEO or search engine optimization as we know it, it concerns people typing something in that they already know they're going after. So what you're really talking about and the best case scenario is, is really 10% of your entire market of the people that are possible to purchase what you have going. You're only dealing with 10% when you're dealing with SEO. Search engine optimization is the focus on people who already are coming at you. Now, yeah, they're the best ones. A very small percentage of who you're going after, of who is possible in the marketplace, is possible through SEO. Even through paid SEO, although paid allows you to at least cut out some of your competition. But if you're going through a big enough market that that 10% really matters to you, then you're gonna have a whole lot of competition more than likely in that market, in that marketplace. You're gonna have a whole lot of competition within that industry. And if you're competing with all those people, you're probably gonna to have to do paid search to really be able to stand out. Show up on that front page of Google, that's what it's gonna take. So that's just a quick concept. SEO unto itself, in the best case scenario, is not the game changer. It's not the end all. It's you're hitting about 10% of the easy pickings of the low hanging fruit, as they call it, in your market. So you got to look, where do we go? You got to look beyond SEO. It's important to understand SEO. It's important to win as best as you can in search engine optimization, but don't make your whole business to get to, don't make it to where 
you absolutely have to win at SEO. You got to do your best at SEO and move on and look at all the other options because you've got a story to tell and it's important that you get out there and stand out. If you're really looking to stand out in your marketplace, I'm going to suggest you go to dreambizchat.com, especially if you're in the self-reliance field, meaning you have products and services that encourage people to become more self-reliant, then go to dreambizchat.com. Uh, if you are not in that field and you're still looking to talk with somebody to see how these principles and strategies fit into your business, go to brianjpombo.com. The links are in the description down below or up above, depending on where you're listening or watching this. Dreambizchat.com, brianjpombo.com. We're going to be back tomorrow. And I've got, I've got a really interesting concept, a very specific example of somebody who is playing in a field that is completely crowded and has the whole his whole industry has completely gone backwards. How do you handle something like that? Well, I'm going to suggest you listen tomorrow. Come on back and we'll talk to you then. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.